Hello guys, let us take Disney Medical from Sam 2015. Question number one. So here you can see <coughs> the scale is given 1 is to 50,000. So let me first try to explain what is meant by the scale of a map. So here you can see this is a geological map, right? So in any map, whether it be geological or any political map, you can see towards one of the corner this kind of a scale will be given here it is written 3 kilometers so what is the meaning of this the meaning of this is that this land the <coughs> black land from here to here whatever is the land that must land in this map is equal to 3 kilometer in the ground okay so suppose now we don't know what is the distance uh, length of this land so first we must know what is the length of this line which is given here the black line so suppose you bring a ruler so you bought a ruler here yeah. let us consider that this is a centimeter scale okay so so suppose consider that this distance this i mean the length of this black line it is two centimeter suppose consider it is two centimeter okay so now how to use this scale so what it means is that any distance here suppose uh, let us try to find the distance between this t2 shk which is written here you can see and this t3 j1 so how will you find the distance between them so you bring the scale and place it here between these two points so roughly let us consider it is around 5 cm from this T2 SSK to T3 J1. Suppose this is 5 cm. Okay. So now what? Now see this distance in the map it is 5 cm according to the scale. Okay. And it is given in the map this that 2 cm in this map it is, it is equal to 3 km. Okay. How did you get that 2 cm? Because we measured this line, this black color line we measured and we got it 2 cm consider this is 2 cm okay this is 2 cm so 2 cm in the map is equal to 3 km in the ground so if the distance between t2 shk and t3 j1 is 5 cm then what will be the distance on the ground so how will you find it see we will do it this way that our scale is 2 cm is equal to 3 km that means 2 cm in the map is equal to 3 km in the ground so how much will be 1 cm 1 cm will be equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 km 1.5 km on the ground right so what is the dis distance between this T2 and T3 we got it 5 cm so how much would be 5 cm therefore 5 cm will be equal to 5 into 1.5 alright so how much is there that is 7.5 kilometers 7.5 kilometer so that is how we use the scale of a map that is the use on and meaning of the scale of map okay now let us go back to the question so in the question it is given that the scale is 1 is to 50,000 so what is the meaning of this meaning of this is that one unit that unit might be centimeter meter whatever it is 1 cm if you consider it centimeter then 1 cm in the scale means it is around not around exactly 50,000 cm on the ground okay and if 1 km on the map you cannot measure 1 km on the map right it, will, it has to be centimeter or uh, millimeter that means 1 millimeter or 1 cm in the map will be equal to 50,000 millimeter or 50,000 cm on the ground okay this is the meaning of 1 is to 50,000 okay so <coughs> 1 is to 50,000 that means 1 suppose we consider that the unit is centimeter 1 centimeter is equal to 50,000 centimeter on the ground that means 1 centimeter in the mat here if you measure 1 centimeter then it will be equal to 50,000 centimeter on the ground okay and now what is the question the question is given that the distance between the upper and lower traces of a bed is 5 centimeter then the actual distance on the ground in kilometers so now our given scale is this and now it is given that 
the distance between uh, the two uh, traces of the bed is 5 cm. So 1 cm is equal to 50,000 cm and how much would be 5 cm? 5 cm will be equal to 5 into 50,000 cm that is 250,000 cm or 2 lakhs 50,000 cm whatever you call it is same. Okay but now see this act in kilometers all right not in centimeters so we need to convert this centimeter into kilometer again. So if you convert it to kilometer you can divide it by 100 then it will be meters and then again by 1000 then it will be kilometer so that will come to 2.5 kilometer if you convert okay so 2.5 kilometer is the answer for this all right hello everyone now let us see the question number 4 from then 2015 so it is given that in the given diagram the percentage of page of in a row of composition x so here is the diagram and here is the composition x so let us see how to solve this now so this one you can see let me again show you the previous image this image right words and colorful spur and physical spur this type of diagram these are called ternary diagrams okay or they are also called triangular diagrams sometimes all right so let us see how to read this diagram first see right here and this was quartz right q of quartz and this was alkali felspar let me write it at a and this was plagiarism as well in our original diagram right so now see this apex this is q apex a apex and p apex apex mean, means these corners right all these three corners this one this one this one all these corners are these are apexes all right these three corners so now let us see the apex of quartz this um, q okay so for quartz if we see at this point at this point the amount of quartz here is 100 percent this 100 percent this stands for this quartz okay now as we move away downwards from the q point or q apex the amount of quartz it will decrease okay so you can see as we move down this 100 ranges to 80 then 60 40 20 and finally 0 so that means the amount of quartz here is 100 percent and amount of quartz here is 0 percent okay when i say here it means this entire line okay in this entire line the amount of quartz is 0 here it is 100 here it is 80 in the entire line okay here 60 like us 40 20 and 0 okay that means in the q apex in the q apex the amount of quartz is 100 okay and opposite to it this line it is 0 amount of quartz okay this is only for quartz i am saying now similarly you consider for this apex a alkali felspar okay now here what happens in this apex a the amount of percentage of a is 100 percent right so as we move away from the corner the amount of alkali felspar will decrease so at first it is 100 80 60 likewise when it comes here it will be zero that means here in this entire line the amount of alkali felspar is zero and in this entire line the amount of alkali felspar is 20 similarly here 40 60 80 and then finally here it is 100 right and in the same way for this plagioclase felspar apex also you can see in this apex it is 100 percent for plagioclase felspar okay and then finally if we go away from the apex it will decrease the amount of plagioclase felspar and finally here it is zero okay now keep in mind one thing so in this apex the plagioclase felspar apex this 100% is for P, right? This 0% is not for P. Remember, the apex, wherever that apex lie, and whichever mineral is in that apex, that that is 100% in that apex, in that position. Okay, and as we move away from the apex, it decreases. All right. So similarly for quartz and alkali felspar, also this will apply. And now, 
uh, uh, see uh, this red point okay let me mark it as x now in this x what will be the amount of quartz alkali feldspar and plagioclase feldspar this is plagioclase feldspar right so what will be the amount of these three minerals in this rock suppose x okay so how will you find it it is easy see this x for for the quartz here it quartz is 100 percent as we move away from the apex it will decrease so at what rate it will decrease this is 100 80 60 40 that means in this top x the amount of quartz it is 40 percent okay quartz is 40 percent similarly what is the amount of alkali feldspar then alkali feldspar here it is 100 percent here it is 80 60 40 okay so alkali feldspar is 40 percent and now for plagioclase feldspar what is the amount of plagioclase feldspar here plagioclase is 100 here it is 80 60 40 here finally it is 20 okay so amount of plagioclase feldspar in x is 20 so now um, let us go go back to the question this was the figure given in the question right so let me uh, the percentage of plagioclase in a rock of composition x so we are asked to find the percentage of, percentage of plagioclase in this rock of composition x so i think you all can do it now easily here plagioclase here is 100 percent right 100 percent so here it will be 80 60 it will be 40 this will be 20 finally this will be zero okay this is for plagioclase so what is the amount of plagioclase in this x it is 20 percent right this entire line in this entire line the amount of plagioclase will be 20 percent so 20 is the answer all right now let us go to question number five the by differences of a unique cell mineral having Reflective indices of 1.658 and 1.4 is this. So let us see how to do it. So <coughs> you may know by tangent is the difference between the refractive indices, right? Defines between the refractive indices. And what is refractive index? The refractive index is the speed of light in the medium. Sorry, the speed of light in the vacuum divided by speed of light in the medium. This is called refractive index. Okay, and in our question, the two refractive indices are given, right? 1.658 and 1.486. So 1.658 and 1.486. 1.658 and 1.486. So by reference is the difference between the two refractive indices, right? So it will be the difference between these two reflective indices. So whatever this is, it will be the answer. And the difference is 0 0.172. So that is the answer. So if someone is confused about by tangents, then this is how it looks like. So calcite is a unique cell mineral. Okay. So you can see this is a page, a paper, and here we have drawn a line, and after that we have put a block of calcite here. Okay. So whenever we put the uh, block of calcite over this line this line it got split into two different lines you so you see so that means whenever the light it entered through the calcite crystal from the top the light when it entered it got split into two different directions within the calcite crystal and because of that we can see the same line here is split into two different lines okay that means whenever the light it entered as calcite crystal has two, two reflective indices so the rays of light that entered the calcite crystal they also got split into two reflective indices and because of that we can see the same line being split into two different lines here okay and what is bright fringes bright fringes is the difference between the reflective uh, indices of the two rays of light okay so that was asked in the question And about unique cell minerals, you know there are six uh, crystal systems that is isometric, tetragonal, hexagonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, and tritonic. Here I have written this. So uh, the 
tetragonal and hexagonal systems they belong to the uniaxial minerals okay and autonomic monoclinic and triclinic they belong to the biaxial minerals okay then isometric is um, defined from these two so in the uniaxial minerals the rays of light whenever they enter they get split into two different directions because uniaxial minerals have two different effective indices they, they are called as alpha and beta sometimes okay and similarly in the biaxial minerals whenever the rays of light they enter the crystal or the mineral uh, it will be split into three different directions that means they have three different effective indices there is alpha beta and gamma sometimes they are called alpha beta and gamma you can give defined names also to them okay and in asymmetric system what will happen whenever the light enters they will not get split in defined direction they will only have one single direction that means they have only one effective indices okay here we have two indices and here we have three indices all right and we'll learn about this in the classes later on okay in details for now to solve that question this much is enough